All right, so here we have the um, second beat of the first race, but 12 rounds first. They're going to have all the tactical options they want, you know. Um, and this perspective is not totally, I think the gates were actually pretty even yesterday, but again, we had a lot more adverse current course right here. Um, so we see one and seven round, uh, and then ten rounds, ten rounds, probably like two boat lengths behind boat one and behind boat seven, uh, more even with boat three here. Um, and again, like these angles that one, seven, and three are sailing are slowly getting worse. You know, they're in decent pressure. The crew is almost up on the rail in boat one there. You know, but boat 10 on the other side, you guys could tell, 10, 5, 11 are pretty lifted on course left here, you know. And where current kind of starts to, you start to see the effects of current, it's not immediate all the time, but pretty quickly, the boats that are course left, they're just inside this current line here, right? Um, and they're slowly going to be working their way up relative to um, the boats that are course right. You know, I think three and two are, are getting pretty far out uh, into the current. Um, and maybe they sailed a little bit through a shift. But we'll speed a little bit ahead. It, it is a righty, so kind of digging into the right a little bit is not bad. But I think you just see pretty soon... Um, if you watch, boat 10 is like the, the leftmost leader here. Boat 1 is still digging right. Um, and the 3 was in the middle, but 10 got just left of that current line. And I think the video tends to run out, but I think they've made a huge gain just being a little bit more left there. You know, they've done a few fewer attacks. They have a really good left shift there. Um, and again, just sailing in, you know, a full knot less current, they're going to be um, making big gains.